click it here. So I'm going to show you some progressions for push-ups. As you'll notice, if you work with kids, kids can't do push-ups anymore. So if you're working with a child or an adult that can't do push-ups, here's how we start them off. So first, we're going to start with a bear crawl. I'm not worried about any form of technique on this. As long as your hands and feet are on the ground, we're going to go around and go forward, go backwards. You can even go sideways. Just move around a bear. Now you'll see I'm with my not so little director of football here, Ryan Burgess here. So he's definitely not one of the little kids that can't do push-ups. So we start with the bear crawl. Once they can do that for about a minute, we're going to go to a standing plank. This is the foundation of being able to do a push-up. If we're going to have our kids do push-ups or anybody do them, let's do them right. So I'm going to have them right here, heads in front of the fingers, hands, shoulders over the hands. Hands are engaged with the ground. That's very important. Grip muscles are extremely important, not only for grip, but stabilizing the shoulder and the rotator cuff. Hands are engaged. Back is flat. His butt's not up in the air. It's also not sagging. Glutes are tight. Everything back here is working. Feet are on the ground. We're going to hold. And then scapula right here. Don't let the scapula fold together. They should be right here in a pretty neutral position. We're just going to hold this with nothing else for about a minute. Once they can do that, we can progress. The next level of progression is called a lizard crawl. This is a little bit like a bear crawl, but there's a little bit more technique to it. So the lizard crawl, we're going to go into that standing plank position. Hips stay low, and we're going to move the opposite arm and opposite leg at the same time. Notice how hips stay low and go. Moving forward, opposite arm, opposite leg, hips are staying low, working on the anterior chain strength, go and go back backwards. Now backwards is going to add a whole new dimension. So again, this is that anterior chain strength and relax. For kids that can't just go straight into a push-up, this helps build the strength for a push-up. So now we can bear crawl, we can lizard crawl, we can standing plank. Now it's time to go into the push-up position, a little more specific. These are called eccentric push-ups to a stand-up. So we're going to go down, keeping all everything we talked about in the standing plank. We're going to go down, nice and slow, as slow as possible, no sagging, until the chest touches the ground, all the way down. Then we're going to scramble up to our feet however they can, and then walk back down into a push-up. So we're going to keep doing that. What that does, we build eccentric strength and stability this way. Once we get down to the bottom, for kids or adults that can't push themselves up, we have an assisted way to push ourselves up. So we're working both sides eccentrically and concentrically. So once we can do that well, next step is we got to go through the whole actual push-up motion. So I'm going to use my resistance band here. Any sort of band like this is going to work. So I'm going to have him go down and put this under his armpits. I'm going to stand over him. Now, I can actually affix this depending on the resistance band you have. If you have a circular one, you can affix it to something. I'm just going to hold this here and let him go down. And then this is going to assist on the way up. What happens here is this body learns this range of motion, holding everything together. As he gets better, I can go to a lighter cord, or I just don't help as much. I'm going to go until I don't have to help him at all. So eventually, if we go through that progression, because remember, coaching is a verb. As a coach, it's a verb, not just a noun. So don't just find something they can't do and just ignore it. Or don't go to girl push-ups. Find things that we can do to modify the movement, to get better, to get where we need to go. That applies to every skill we're trying to learn. So as a coach, make sure you coach. We'll see you again soon.